I did an exhibition in 1990 and I filmed Mr. Cruzon, who's a greengrocer, putting out his stall. He's still stacking crates and he's still there feeding people and everything's changed apart from Mr. Cruzon. We're in Lower Mar Street in South London and we're on the hunt for uh, Mr. Taffy and his costermonger stalls. Yeah, that's his Taffy, yeah. There was a family called Jay Taffy and it's John and Joe and their father was also a costermonger maker. He made barrows and stalls uh, when the markets were much more vibrant then and I asked them to make uh, four market stalls for me and I presented them as like ready-made as artworks. It's kind of a bit of London that's slowly but surely kind of disappearing really and I guess I kind of wanted to play um, homage to it. I found a fully functioning uh, a costermonger store with flowers on it. It's great to see they've still being used. Yeah, and it has like probably has an inscription under here as well. Yeah, Mr. Taffy. We're at the drawing room just off Tower Bridge Road and we're about to pop in and have a look at an exhibition. The drawing room is a non-profit space that's open to the public and so it's kind of like deals with a whole kind of gamut of drawing really from, from just kind of sketches in people's books to kind of finished drawing. I chose the drawing room as one of my choices because I'm a drawer, I guess, and, um, and that's really how I became an artist, was through drawing, really. It's a kind of very primal thing. I was good at it as a child, and now I'm 52 and I'm still drawing. So we're at uh, Cruzons in Campbell Church Street, and I filmed Mr. Cruzon, as they call him, back in 1990 with a fixed camera, setting out his stall early one morning. Green Ghost would appropriate these crates just to build kind of small podiums, which kind of slightly mimics kind of minimalist art. And um, so I kind of like to use their methodology in my own arts. Everything about South London has changed for me, anyway, apart from Mr. Cruzon. <laughs>